Hello, you're watching Shalom World News. I'm Dana Villa from Chicago, Illinois. Here are the latest headlines from around the world. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is set to engage in discussions in the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia on Monday, followed by a visit to Israel. He has expressed concern about the potential spread of the Gaza conflict throughout the region. Blinken is on a five-day diplomatic mission in the Middle East to prevent further escalation. During a press conference in Doha, he said he would stress to Israeli officials the importance of taking additional measures to prevent civilian casualties in Gaza. He also highlighted the necessity for Palestinian civilians to be allowed to return home and not be compelled to leave Gaza. Jordan's King Abdullah has urged Blinken to push for an immediate ceasefire. He warned of the, quote, catastrophic repercussions, end quote, of Israel's ongoing military campaign. However, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu remains steadfast in his commitment to continue on the fight. Pope Francis baptized 16 infants in the Sistine Chapel on Sunday, January 7, showing an example of how to receive faith with innocence and open hearts. He also underlined the significance of celebrating the day of baptism as a, quote, birthday, end quote. Meanwhile, after the Angelus prayer, the Pope also prayed for the release of Colombian captives and an end to conflicts in countries such as Palestine, Israel, and Ukraine. He expressed solidarity with people of the Democratic Republic of Congo who are harshly hit by heavy rains and floods. In conclusion, the Holy Father extended Christmas wishes to the churches in the East who follow the Julian calendar. Millions of Orthodox Christians in Europe celebrated Christmas on Sunday, January 7. Unlike the rest of Christians, they followed the Julian calendar proposed by Roman dictator Julius Caesar. In Moscow, Patriarch Kirill of the Russian Orthodox Church celebrated the Mass at the Cathedral of Christ the Savior. In his Christmas message, he spoke about the sacrificial love of Christ that saved humanity from the wrong path in life. The Midnight Mass at the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem was led by Patriarch Theophilus III of Jerusalem. On Christmas Eve, the Serbian believers in Belgrade followed the tradition of burning oak branches at sermons held outside their churches. Russian President Vladimir Putin was joined at his residence by families of military personnel who died in the war during Christmas Eve services. In a move defying pleas from human rights groups and religious leaders, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken on Thursday, January 4th, opted against designating Nigeria and India as countries of particular concern, or CPS, for religious freedom violations. This decision ignited immediate backlash with the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom calling it, quote, extreme disappointment, end quote. The annual list released by the State Department maintained the previous year's 12 CPS, including notorious offenders like Burma, China, and Saudi Arabia, and added only Azerbaijan to the watch list. This sparked outrage among advocates who argued that both Nigeria and India, with their escalating violence against religious minorities, deserved harsher sanctions. Blinken offered no official explanation for his decision. USC CIRF Chair Abraham Cooper and Vice Chair Frederick Davey called on Congress to convene a public hearing on the failure of the State Department to follow their recommendations. Nine new priests were ordained at the Managua Archdiocese of Nicaragua on Saturday, January 6. Cardinal Leopoldo José Brenes Solorzano presided over the rites held at the Managua Cathedral. The ordination took place while the Catholic Church in Nicaragua is having a difficult time. In December, at least 14 priests, two seminarians, and this Yona Bishop, Mora Ortega, were arrested 
The United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights had recently urged the government of Nigeria to reveal the whereabouts of Bishop Mora in their social media post. The Biden administration criticized Ortega's regime for unjustly imprisoning Bishop Rolando Alvarez and demanded his release. The Roman Catholic bishop was accused of treason and sentenced to 26 years of imprisonment by the government. Over 800 shelters were burned and thousands of people were evacuated after a fire broke out at the Rohingya refugee camp in Bangladesh on Sunday, January 7. Schools and mosques were among those destroyed in the three-hour blaze. There were no recorded casualties, but over 7,000 people were left homeless and 120 institutions were damaged. The cause of the fire is unclear, and an inquiry has been ordered. Mohammad Shamsud Duza, the deputy Bangladesh government official in charge of refugees, said that the arrangements are made for sheltering those affected by fire. Tragically, this is not the first time. Fires are breaking out in the densely populated villages, causing loss of life and property. Global Christian Relief, a leading Christian persecution watchdog in the United States, is collaborating with the International Institute of Religious Freedom to launch an open-source database documenting incidents of violent religious attacks against Christians and other faith communities worldwide. This database, the first of its kind, allows anyone to search for instances of persecution. It covers over a dozen types of violence, such as killings, arrests, kidnappings, and forced marriages. Users can filter their searches by country, religion, and perpetrators. The database, which began documenting global incidents in 2022, currently monitors over 6,000 cases. Dr. David Curry, president of the Global Christian Relief, will showcase this database at the International Religious Freedom Summit on the 30th and 31st of January. The Catholic bishops of the United States announced a new national pastoral plan for Hispanic ministry with evangelization and mission being the top pastoral objectives for the nation's expanding Latino Catholic population. The document titled Missionary Disciples Going Forth with Joy lists the priorities and proposals that the bishops have for U.S. dioceses, parishes, and Catholic organizations that provide services to Hispanic Catholics. The plan intends to serve a roadmap for the Hispanic population in the 10 years leading up to the 500th anniversary of the apparition of Our Lady of Guadalupe in 2031 and the 2000th anniversary of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ in 2033. Christian leaders urged the Nigerians to remain united in the face of hardships amidst the escalating numbers of terrorist attacks in the West African country. According to Archbishop Daniel Uko, president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, acts of violence against Nigerians such as the attack in Plateau State on December 27 that claimed the lives of nearly 200 Christians are a recurrent nightmare they have witnessed frequently. Archbishop Uku said that the people would find the strength to endure their hardships if they stand united. The prelate also urged Nigerians to pray for an end to attacks in the country. As the Jordan Bath celebrates the Silver Jubilee of its opening this year, the officially recognized baptism site of Jesus is witnessing a record number of visitors. Known as Bath Bath, this historical site is situated in Wadi Al-Karar in Bethany, east of the Jordan River. Director General of the Baptism Site Authority, Rustam Makjian, stated that more than 213,000 people came from 70 countries to visit the site. The Church of the Baptism of Christ is all set to welcome pilgrims on January 12 for the Catholic celebration of the annual pilgrimage. Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabala, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, will preside over the celebration along with the Papal Ambassador to Jordan, Bishop Giovanni Pietro dal Pozzo, and others. 
A group of Palestinian rioters vandalized a holy site in the West Bank, highlighting the ongoing attacks on Israel archaeological sites. The revered Joshua's altar is a site of significant religious importance to millions of Jews and Christians. The rioters burned tires on the altar's remains and sprayed Palestinian flags and Arabic inscriptions on the stones. Joshua's altar, located at Mount Ebel, is jointly controlled with the Palestinian Authority and has been the target of such destructive acts of multiple occasions. Reverend Petra Held, a prominent Christian scholar, expressed concern over the attacks on Jewish and Christian holy places by Muslim settlers and called for measures to protect such sites. The United Arab Emirates will put to trial 84 individuals for terror-related offenses, according to the state media on Saturday, January 6, where the individuals are accused of establishing a clandestine organization to commit acts of violence and terrorism on UAE soil. The agency said the defendants had concealed their crime and its evidence before they were arrested and tried in 2013. The UAE's Attorney General Hamad Saif al-Shamsi ordered a probe into the details based on the evidence gathered through the investigation. He said the accused are members mostly of the terrorist organization of the Muslim Brotherhood. UAE had a similar mass trial for 94 activists and government critics a decade ago on the same allegation. Seven Weeks Coffee, a pro-life coffee business dedicated to promoting values, has contributed nearly $300,000 to pregnancy resource centers nationwide. Their aim is to empower these centers to continue acting as shields and defenders of pregnant women. Established in 2021, the company was named after a woman's pregnancy stage when her pre-born baby is the size of a coffee bean. Seven Weeks Coffee founder Anton Kresik said that they donate 10% of its profits to pregnancy resource centers. In addition to partnering with over 700 pregnancy centers, Seven Weeks Coffee also collaborates with several pro-life organizations, including the Center for Client Safety and Sidewalk Advocates for Life. And those are your latest headlines. Do join us tomorrow. In the meantime, you can visit swnews.org for more updates. Shalom.